So today's video is going to show you how to make basic updates to your Facebook page. Things like posting images and links, changing your images, like cover images and ID photos, things like that. I've got a lot of customers and people who have had Facebook pages made for them and just simply don't know how to use them. So that's what this video is for. Now, I've also, I'm going to go through desktop first and then phone. So I'll pop a link, uh, a timestamp up on the screen now to show you what time the phone instructions start. If that's what you want to skip to. Otherwise, let's get started on the computer. So if I'm logged into Facebook here, and I want to switch to my page, I need to go up the top right to my icon up here and go to see all profiles. I've got a bunch of pages here, but you want to pick the page you're going to edit. So I'm actually going to scroll down and choose this tutorial test page. That's the page I'm going to edit for this video. So I've clicked that and it's switching over. Now you can see here it says you're now acting as the tutorial test page on Facebook. Now if you're used to Facebook, it's pretty much going to be the same from here with a few minor differences. But uh, let's start by going straight to the page itself. I'm going to go up the top here to the account button. We're actually get, This time I'm going to click on the name of the page here to view our profile. And it's going to give us a bit of information because the page has been updated. Uh, but we're using the page. First of all, if you want to change your cover photo or your ID photo, you can see here we've got add cover photo. I simply click that. I can upload a photo or I can select a pre-existing photo, which I have. I've got nothing here. So if I click upload photo, I can choose something here and I can drag that to reposition it. And I've got a photo, I click save changes. Now cover photo is now done. Same thing if I want to change this ID photo, I click a little camera icon. And again, I can upload a photo here or I can choose or choose a photo that I've already uploaded. You get the idea from there. But uh, the next thing, the next thing would be actually editing your about information. If I scroll down, I've got uh, this little section here. There's actually no information there. If I click edit bio, it says this page is for testing. If I had a business, I could put some information about my business in here so that people know what this page is about and what the business is for and that way they know if they're on the right page or if you can help them out or not. Just click save. Now there are some other other areas here such as edit details if you're going to add in other details. So you can add in things like a category. If I want to change that category to something else, it'll bring me into this about page and I can click edit, change this category. I can search for maybe digital creator or something like that. And I can go in and make those changes. I can also, once I'm in here, add my address, service area, add my phone, click any of these links and add that information in. However, if I just tap back for a second, I'm just gonna go leave page just while we're going through the video. If I click edit details here, changing that category takes me to another page, but what if I wanna add in my address? Well, once again, it's taking me to that same kind of area, but I can add my address in here, type that in, and I can just simply go through and click these to add in phone, email, website, any other social media links I have, um, anything else I want to add in there. The more you add in, the better. But um, I can go through and add those in quite easily just by clicking these little areas. So you can just look at this and figure it out as you go. You can also go through into your privacy and legal info if you want to add in some information there. Check these little bits and pieces down here to see if you want to add in anything else, such as we, yeah, you know, page transparency, uh, anything like that. It's looking a little bit more like a personal profile these days, but that's essentially how we do it. So if I go back to posts now, what if we want to start posting onto our Facebook page? Right here, we've got what's on your mind. You can just type in a post. I can say it's going to be public, hit done. And on what's on my mind, I can say, this is my post. And I can just simply type in a post like that. It's pretty straightforward. But if I want to actually move on and add, say, an image, I can add in a photo here. I can click the icon here to add a photo. Once again, I can upload a photo and I can post that. So I, obviously I can just post text without adding the photo, but if I post this, you see I've now added this photo. And if I wanna post more on here, I can actually go back in here and simply type some more. So I've got another post. You might be wondering how to post links. So if you have a link to a page, you can simply copy and paste that in there. But if you wanna say, Go to Google. You want to share Google's website, which I don't think anyone really needs to share. Everyone knows it exists. I type in the address, including the HTTPS or the HTTP colon double slash google.com to share a link, and it'll actually add that link. If I decide to change that link, I can change it to my website and get a better preview. And 
Once again, I can then also still go up here and add more information. I can add in some emojis if I want to. So maybe something like this and pretty much do what I want with it. I can also uh, check in somewhere. So if I want to check in to a certain location, I can do that. Um, there's all your usual sort of post that can add a COVID-19 update. Um, there's all these other different options you have to add onto your post, but essentially most people are looking for text, links, or images. Now keep in mind, if I have a link here, I'll just post this. So I've got this link to my website. I can just click on, I've got this photo, but you can actually do all three if you really want to. I can say, check out my website and just go. And then I can also add an image. So if I go here, add a photo, it'll ask me to upload something. I can actually add a link in the description and also post a, an, an image. So you can actually do all those things in one if you want to. You can post an image or a link or just text, or you can do all those things. So I've got an image here, which you can click and view, but also a clickable link to a website. So that's pretty handy to know also. Now, there are some options with your post. So let's say I've got this link here and I want people to see it more like if they land on my page, I want that to be at the top. I can click on the three dots at the top right hand corner. I can pin this post so that when anyone visits my page, that is the page that's at the top, that's the post that's sitting at the top because it's been pinned. But there are other options as well. I can click on here. I can obviously some of this stuff is going to be a little bit sort of you're not really going to need to know about it, such as uh, saving a link if you want to save it to your list to look at later. You can embed it on a website if you want to, but uh, you can edit the date. But uh, I don't know why you would need to do that. But you can control who comments on this post, which is pretty cool. So if you're getting a lot of comments that you think are not what you're after, once you've posted, you can click who can comment on this post. And I can say establish followers. So only people who follow the page or only profiles and pages who I follow. So that way I can choose to follow or not follow people who I want to comment. Uh, or I can just simply profiles and pages that I mention. So I have to mention them in the, in the post for them to comment. So you can take control over who gets to post on these, who gets to comment on these posts by clicking those options. So that's a pretty cool, pretty nifty trick. Now, the other thing I want to talk about, so you, you've been able to make some changes to your about, your images, you've been learning how to post, is if you've got no friends or no people following the page, you want to invite people to that page, click on the three dots over here on the right and go down to invite friends. And you will continue as your pro profile and you'll have to actually switch, but you can go through and check all the people you want to send invites to, which is pretty handy. But um, now we're gonna move on to how to do this with your phone. Okay, so we've got my phone up and I'm, once again, I'm looking at the same page I originally had and I'm gonna switch back to the same page we were just looking at on the desktop by going to the top sort of uh, hamburger icon at the top here and pressing that and it brings up all my profiles and pages. I can just simply scroll up. I press tutorial test page. It then loads the page and I can start sort of operating as that profile. Now in order to actually edit my profile itself, I again go to the hamburger. I press the top button and I've brought it up here. Now again, if I want to change this top cover image, I click the little camera icon and I can go to upload photo here or I can select a photo somewhere else. If I go upload photo, I can choose this steering wheel, click save and I've changed that. Once again, same over here, click the camera icon on the ID photo and I can upload out of frame or select a profile picture, that kind of thing. I would select profile picture to upload a photo. So maybe this fire and that's how I can change those two images on the page. Now, if I want to edit my about information, I've got here, if I scroll down, I can click on the about tab here and I can see what's there and I can edit public details. So I click edit public details and I can also edit these images in here as well. But I can scroll through and where it says edit next to bio and edit next to details. If I simply press those keys, those, edit, those areas, I can get options to edit all these bits and pieces. So I can say add a phone number and add that in there. So you sort of get the idea. I click save when I'm done 
And that's it. I would just scroll down one by one, check those out, see if you want to add any info on there. And that's pretty much good to go. Same with hobbies and anything else. Just go through and check these areas out. Click add if there's nothing in there or edit to change those details. So that's pretty straightforward. Now, once again, if I want to create a post, I go back to posts over here, or I can just simply go up top right hand hamburger icon again, click on my page. And where it says what's on your mind down in the center, I can type my post. So here's my thoughts. Once again, I can add in a website. So HTTPS colon slash slash, you need to include that. Otherwise it won't be a link. Type in my website address and then I can actually share that. You can see we get a little preview there of the website. There's no image with this one. Um, so if I put in Creator Impact, it will actually generate that preview. But I can, as I said before, I can either share that as a link or I can just share it as plain text uh, by removing the X. I can just share a text link or I can go down to this little green image symbol and I can actually share an image or a video, which is pretty handy. So I can share this image here. So now I have an image I can share. I can even add more images if I want to, but uh, I'm just gonna click next. If I want to, I can post now or schedule for later. This is actually a lot easier on a phone than it seems to be on the desktop, but I'm gonna post that image and it will appear on my feed, especially if I refresh. That image is now actually on my feed. And like before, if I click on these little three dots on the top right here, I can edit the post if I want to. I can also control, I can pin the posts and have it up there with my featured post up here, which is pretty handy. Or if I go to the top right three dots again, I can type, I can actually hit in who can comment on this post. I can control who can comment on it. So establish followers, so only people who follow the page for more than a day, uh, other pages that I follow, so I can choose who to follow, therefore who gets to comment, or just people who I mention in the status. So I can control that on each individual post after I post online. So. That's how you can basically post to your Facebook page from your phone. Now, inviting friends, I believe, is in the same area. If I hit these three dots over here, I can invite friends by pressing this button. It'll ask me to switch, and I can choose the people I want to invite. So that's actually pretty handy and pretty straightforward. So depending on what you're using, whether it's a computer or a phone, once you've logged in, all you need to do is get to your page, and then a lot of the options are just there, and within a few minutes, you can probably figure this out for yourself, but Otherwise, keep referring back to this video if you need more help. I hope that uh, has been useful for you and that it's helped you figure out Facebook. And if you have any questions about some of these uh, Facebook things that you're not sure how to do, leave it in the comments below and I may be able to make a video on it if I can, if I can help you. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon and have a great day.